kudos to you if you're having your best, you know, college experience. But I'm not saying I'm not having my best. It's just like, uh, it ain't there. Before I begin today's video, don't forget to subscribe down below and click on my notification bell so you can get notified every time I post. So, number one, balancing is a big thing in college. Like learning how to balance social life, finances, and then school. Like it's a lot and like I had to learn how to balance and it's still hard to learn how to balance because I'm new to this so it's like balancing was like um balancing was like i didn't have to worry about it when i was in high school you know and that's one thing that the high schools fell to like um educate um high school seniors or juniors that want to go to college is that you have to learn how to balance and like them babying us in freaking high school and like like they be trying to prepare you for college let me tell you nothing in high school really prepared me for college i had to learn on my own um so so important to learn to balance everything that you have because when you have that whole concept of oh i have this this and this and this then it's so easy for you to maneuver through the college life because you have everything kind of figured out for yourself. So don't be going to that party. You know you got eight o'clock because eight o'clocks are not fun. That's nothing. Eight o'clocks. Like who who thought to be um make me wake up this early for a class? And I, I promise like it seems like eight o'clocks be like the worst professors that are not like great <laughs> you know it's a, probably a boring subject so you're just like oh my god like my eight o'clock is so boring so it's not like a good way to get up get your day started let's just say i mean it's a, it's good to have eight o'clock so you can get your day ended fast but starting it be the problem so you be ready to struggle you be wanting to go out you be wanting to do stuff and then you're like dang i got an eight o'clock class like mm, yeah no yeah try not to get an eight o'clock try to get like a a nine, nine thirty. You don't want no evening classes. You don't want your classes to be ending at like six o'clock at night, okay? Because when it gets like winter time and fall, it be starting to get dark early. Like, yeah, no, not a good look. The food just gets so old so quickly. You be so drained because you're like, oh my god, like, am I really craving it? Am I really hungry? Yeah, and. So sometimes you have to settle down for the cab or whatever dining halls are on your campus. We have three dining halls in our camp. So, yeah. But anyways, another thing. Money, 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 okay? Honey, you gonna spend those coins, all right? You gonna spend them coins. You gonna be a little tight on money. It's okay. It's just, that's how it is in college. You wanna do everything you can to make sure that you can um, provide for yourself financially. So when you do wanna go out, you make sure you have money. So it's like that balancing thing, like, oh, am I gonna go out too much? So when I really wanna go out, like, I'm not gonna have money to, or do I really need this book or do I really need the outfit? Like it's it's about balancing, like I'm balanced, like literally is the biggest word I can say. I mentally, which I need to actually write it down, physically write it down. I mentally jot down in my head things that I need, okay? Things that you want come last. Like that's how I think about it. Like, oh, I really need to blah, blah, blah. But if that doesn't work out, I can get a want. So yeah, balance. So another thing is friends. Okay, y'all, I've seen people come and go really, really fast. Even if I knew them for years, like, you know, college changed people, college, you know. You know how people do when they get a little freedom, they start acting different. Anyways, so yeah, um, people start really acting really different. Especially when you knew them for a long time, they start acting really different. Um, that goes for anybody, a friend, a family member. Like people act really different when they get to college. Like they're around thousands of people. Like you're too mean. They ain't gonna act a little different. But it's it's like either you fall 
or you you rise so like you falling or you rising like either college is going to make you or break you basically it is all about who you surround yourself with and lately i've been trying to surround myself with great people like you are who you attract your energy attracts people to you so if you if you happy you positive all the time and you you optimistic like you're going to attract people who are the if not the same but basically similar learning how to actually make friends that want to see you win and do good which is my struggle right now because like you know people change and people are not on the same mental as you so you have to find people that are on a similar mental as you basically and it's hard you know you you think you have people in your life that's secured and stuff but people change all people change really quickly i've seen it so many times before my eyes of people that just like switched up on me and i was like well what you doing what you doing do not surround yourself with a group of friends and think that's your group you start carrying yourself in this little circle of friends this little circle of friends and you're not you're not willing to like go network with other people or make other friends because you think you're so sick you think you're so secure with these group of people so yeah don't don't feel like oh my jesus you're so don't feel like you're obligated to stay with the same people that you've been around with and stuff like that just because you hang out with them every day don't don't feel obligated that you need to hang out with them every day Hang out with new people, meet new people. You can hang out with them, you know, but don't feel like you you have to always hit them up. No, find new people. Pathos. It's so gross. Gross, y'all. I'm a germaphobe, so I rarely even use public bathrooms when I'm going out. So just to be in a in a college dorm and you know you got a gym bathroom with the girls on your hall, not everybody's the tidiest, not everybody's uh, sanitary. So. I say always carry disinfectant wipes, disinfectant spray, a bag. Like, I have a poop bag, y'all. Like, when I need to go poop, I go to my friend's room. I got my little poop bag with my little disinfectant spray, my disinfectant wipes, my perfume, and, you know, anything you might need. Have it. If you're not spraying at home, learn how to spray. Please, just, like, please, it stinks. Nobody wants to smell your crap. Like, that's gross. Please spray. I know we, you know, you got them sometimes. You got some little bubble grits and you, mm, and the stank. But please cover your stank with, with some perfume or something. Nobody wants to smell your butt. Mm, we not with it. And if you do get hair on a shower, in the bathroom, somewhere, please clean it up. Toothpaste, anything, please clean it up. Um, I'm, you're not at home. You're living with people who you have to share a bathroom with. This is not home. You don't have to share a bathroom with one or two people. It's college. Like, put your phone down. I have I have a bad time doing that too, but put your phone down. Like, you will never know how much you'll get done until you put your phone down. That assignment due at 11.59, put your phone down. You, you up at 11 still scrolling on Twitter. Put your phone down. Put it somewhere like, like, not even close to you. Put it, put it on a, a desk or a chair or something on top of a closet or look, put it somewhere so you won't be access to it. Oh, I think they actually have like an app that locks like your apps and stuff so you won't, you know, be distracted. But I need to find that because I'll be having a hard time. Being independent is so big. Look, you don't have to move out on your own. I mean, you know, move, move on. That's what I'm move on on your own you know you you it's like a lot to balance with and i had a hard time hard time like i was very independent yeah, i was like oh yeah college about to be a breeze like i'm already independent like it's about to be a breeze yeah no you have to be fully independent nobody's telling you baby and you telling you what to do you better check that blackboard you better check whatever it is that your assignment's on by yourself and if you forget that's your issue so Learn how to be independent. Learn how to spend your money independently. Learn how to live life independently because when college hits you, you independent, honey. And nobody's going to go be telling you, oh, you make sure you do this. Oh, make sure you do that. So if you gotta set 30 alarms to wake up for your 8 a.m., you better do it because nobody's waking it. I mean, nobody's waking you up for you. I mean, waking you up. Okay, you might got a, a nice little roommate or something. <laughs> no one's really waking you up, so 
relationships. Okay, personally, I'm not in this relationship thing. No. Because I have something at home. So, it's like, I'm balancing home and, you know, college. And being around boys and girls. And they always, hey, little mama, like, what you, what you? Yeah, no. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm very hard to impress. Like, I have high standards. And that's okay. Like, it's okay to have high standards. But when people try to holler at you, you be getting annoyed. Because you, even if you're trying to make friends, like, you still be getting annoyed. Like, oh, my God, like, all y'all the same. Like, really? Like, all y'all just want the same thing? Or all y'all just want to do the same stuff? Like, it's it's draining to find people that you can relate to. But I'm not saying you're not. I'm not saying you're not. But it's just, it's hard. It's rare, you know. So, definitely, um, if you're planning on getting a relationship in college, Please learn, vibe with that person. Please actually learn that person because college is it, like, you know, oh my God, this one, this one. So, you know, you, you come into college and you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna find me a little boot. So, don't ever settle for less of yourself. If you know you have high standards and you over here messing with some boy who really have low standards, you're not gonna get anywhere with him, okay? Go out on study dates, even if y'all not dating. Y'all can be completely friends, but somehow, some way, people don't wanna be friends in college. They're thinking you gotta be more. They're thinking you want sex and all this and that. Don't hang around those people. So, yeah. um, Yeah, but basically, my, my whole college life thing just been so messy. Like, y'all, I just... I've been thinking about, like, it's a lot. It takes your mental, it, it, depression is real. Homesickness is real. A lot of stuff is really real out here. You know, never give up. Never give up, even when you want to, because I've wanted to give up so many times with this college thing. So, yeah. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy my little chit chat, a little tea tea. But anyways, I hope you guys have a blessed day. I hope you guys live it your greatest life you know i'm not like you know i hope you do so um yeah don't forget to be yourself and love yourself and don't forget to subscribe down below and i'll see you guys next time bye